Alistair Williams in the P51D Mustang. Yes, what you're looking at now is one of the most successful long-range fighter escorts of World War II. An absolutely wonderful machine. Looks like it's uh, ready for business and it certainly delivered it when was required in the late uh, latter stages of the Second World War. Wasn't a great success at first. It was designed for the British in just 120 days to meet their requirement to purchase more fighters. The first Mustangs were actually built with Allison engines and whilst uh, remarkable at low altitudes, uh, these variants were considered rather underpowered and disappointing at higher altitudes. Roaring into the sky, distinctive shape, and of course that wonderful little screechy howl as well, uh, which is all coming from the gun ports on the uh, wings. But uh, uh, once the, uh, in 1942, uh, that uh, a resolution uh, to the dissatisfaction was found this aircraft was transformed when in the UK yes you can guess the Rolls-Royce Mellon engines were tested in place of the Allison and it was the same engine of course used in the Spitfire and they eventually became uh, produced in the USA license built by Packard and you'll often hear the reference to the Packard Merlins uh, once installed in the B's and C models uh, the near perfect marriage of engine and platform made it into what you see here today, the 1944 P51D Mustang. The mission of Rolls-Royce, you may wonder why they're doing and what they're doing is, of course, well, it's got a Rolls-Royce engine in it for a start, but it is to inspire, educate and promote aviation heritage through the operation and demonstration of rare and historically accurate aircraft, engines and artifacts. They aim to showcase uh, historic design and engineering excellence whilst describing the pathway to modern technology and sustainability through STEAM, that is STEM with an A of course, science, technology, engineering, arts and mathematics, but also adding media visits and other promotional activity. All in all, they would like to tell the story of and commemorate those who fought for their country. The P-51D's uh, range was an incredible 2,000 uh, miles thanks to its huge fuel capacity of 1,000 litres internally and another 850 litres in drop tanks. Equally impressive was a maximum level speed of 437 miles an hour at 25,000 feet and a dive speed of 500 miles an hour with a service ceiling right up to nearly 42,000 feet. A truly impressive machine. This particular aircraft was uh, constructed at the uh, famous uh, North American Aviation Production Light in Inglewood in California in mid-1944. Delivered to uh, the United States Army Air Force in July 1945. Didn't actually make it into combat during World War II, uh, but uh, spent most of its active uh, service life in various units in the USA before being delivered to the Royal Canadian Air Force in 1951. The aircraft went on to serve with number 403 squadron city of Calgary until April 1959 when it was eventually uh, retired. Rolls-Royce had already successfully uh, renovated and uh, taken control of their Griffin powered Mark 19 Spitfire which we were hoping to see today. 
and it was decided that to uh, ensure that uh, they had a proper heritage flight, uh, they included the Mustang as a perfect fit, given its global appeal and celebrating a historic and ongoing relationship between Rolls-Royce and the United States Air Force. Originally flown under uh, the guise of the Shark uh, by Sean Patrick, it uh, uh, was acquired by Rolls-Royce and uh, emerged now in the colours of Colonel Donald Blakesley, the legendary commanding officer of the 4th Fighter Group, the Debden Eagles. Lovely topside pass there. Uh, Steg will be giving you a little look down from his cockpit there. So again, when he does that, do give him a wave, won't you? Uh, he joined uh, the uh, Army straight from school and uh, trained as an anti-tank helicopter pilot, serving a couple of operational tours as an instructor, also at Middle Wallop. During which time he flew two seasons with the Blue Eagles helicopter display team. And that's uh, something I used to manage myself and had great fun with those guys. He's been working with the Rolls-Royce flight operations team now since 2016. And joined them full time just back in 2020. got a great day job he flies the company Gulfstream and uh, then also manages the Rolls-Royce Heritage flight flying the Harvard and the Mustang throughout the display season after its restoration uh, the accuracy of the representing Blakesley's wartime Mount uh, Whiskey Delta Dash Charlie is uh, pretty accurate uh, to say the least and to find detail. And it's known as Warhorse, that's a nod to the Mustang's namesake and Blakesley's radio call sign, Horseback Leader. The aircraft now operates from a dedicated hangar at East Midlands Airport uh, near the main Rolls Royce site in Derby, housed alongside the marvellous Mark 19 Spitfire and their Harvard. Mark 2B. And Alistair's just caught up to say he's about to make his final pass, so you know what to do, boys and girls, mums and dads. If you've been with us for a couple of days, you've got your waving arms already exercised. But if you haven't got the arms, pick up what you can hats, coats, umbrellas. Oh, I think he's going to do a little break right in front of us and then climb out. Fantastic stuff. Uh, I thought we were going into a zoom climb there for a moment. Typhoon style. It's just the most spectacular sight and you really have picked a great day to be with us. Uh, all that low cloud dissipated and uh, just the perfect day. Uh, all these guys, and the, particularly these warbirds, all big smiles on their face. Of course, uh, takes a fair bit of uh, training as well. And you hear Steg in the background there just confirming this one will be his final pass. So now's the time to give him a huge wave. He'll take a quick peek out of his canopy. Then I suspect put in a, a little victory roll as he uh, departs back to Lib this afternoon. It's where he uh, pre-based himself. You'll be watching uh, Alistair Williams flying the Rolls-Royce Heritage uh, Mustang P51D. And what a splendid display that's been. Give him a huge wave. Well flown. Terrific stuff. Thanks, Steg. And as I guessed looking at you all upside down. <laughs> 